Human trafficking bust. Howard County Police say they made a stop for a medical emergency and discovered a man holding women hostage and forcing them into sex slavery. Tonight, Abajoy Burnett with the disturbing steps police say he took to control his victims. Howard County Police say the suspect used drugs to control the woman as he drove them around the state and forced them into prostitution. It's a case that unfolded Thursday. Howard County Police say they pulled over William Murray because it seemed like he was having a medical emergency. But police say there was a 34-year-old woman in his car who was a victim of human trafficking. Investigators also believe Murray may have been trafficking as many as eight other women. And he's accused of shopping the woman around on the internet as prostitutes. Murray's also accused of using heroin to control the victims and limiting when they ate or slept. He would take the girl to that location, usually a hotel, force her to go in and perform the sex acts, and then when she came out, he would take her money. In Murray's Pikesville neighborhood, the allegation shocked the couple right next door. I'm, I'm really stunned. Mm -hmm. I really am. Mm -hmm. You know? I mean, he's a nice, seem like a nice guy, you know, from what I know and seen, you know. The problem of human trafficking is well documented up and down the I-95 corridor. This human trafficking expert says more officers are now able to identify and prevent the problem. Law enforcement being trained um, and having that awareness and that, uh, that presence of mind and understanding of the dynamics of this world uh, was very helpful. Murray has been released on $15,000 bond. He's expected back in court in May. Reporting, Avajoy Burnett, WJZ Eyewitness News. Now, along with human trafficking charges, Murray also faces prostitution-related charges.